Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. Scientists say the next revolution in HIV could see daily drugs replaced with injections that slowly and continuously release HIV medication into the blood. Early trial data from 309 patients showed jabs every one or even two months worked as well as daily pills, which is how antiretroviral medication is currently taken. But observers say the medication is a burden. Someone diagnosed age 20 could end up taking more than 20,000 HIV tablets in a lifetime. And some people struggle, leading to HIV coming back and the virus resisting the effects of treatment. The trial was conducted at 50 centers in the Results are published in the Lancet Medical Journal showed that by the end of the study, 84% of patients on daily doses were still suppressing the virus, 87% with injections every four weeks, and 94% with injections every eight weeks. Doctors in South Africa say a nine-year-old infected with HIV at birth has not needed treatment as most HIV-infected people. Antiretroviral drugs help suppress HIV in infected individuals but must be taken regularly to prevent viral rebound or further progression. This was not the case for the South African child whose viral load went from high to undetectable after 40 weeks of antiretroviral treatment during infancy. The child had been part of a 2007 clinical trial that randomly assigned babies born with HIV to receive antiretroviral treatment either immediately or only once they showed symptoms. Experts say understanding how the child is protected could lead to new drugs or a vaccine for stopping HIV.